All right, so today I'm going to be wearing this belt with these boots. And I know it just seems like the perfect situation, right? To have a belt that's perfectly matched to your boot, uh, to the skin of your boot. In this case, these are Tacovas. This is Tacovas belt. This is a Cayman skin and like a chocolate um, color. Absolutely love these boots. They're called the Dylan. But realistically, not everybody's going to have a belt that is perfectly matched to a boot. I mean, these belts go for about 200 and something dollars. Um, so don't quote me on that, but a better situation would be to get one belt, one time that matches um, most of, or the majority of what you wear, right? The only time I really wear black is when I have like a special occasion or event to go to. I've started wearing it more and we'll get into that later in the video. Um, so somebody commented on one of my videos I did uh, a couple weeks ago and I was wearing this boot with uh, this belt right here. These are the Area Fraternities, one of the most comfortable boots in the world. I think everybody should own a pair. So the thing about this boot right here is it's a um, reverse leather hide. It's not typical leather. Anyway. So I thought it was a good um, learning point. I thought it was a good thing to uh, make a video about in order to teach people who probably didn't know much about um, how to match your leathers and materials of boots that you're wearing. Um, not to say that that comment was stupid. It's just a good learning point. And so I made this channel in order to help um, with men's confidence, you know, look good, feel good. Um, lack of confidence is usually lack of motivation and lack of motivation is... Uh, depression so let's not be depressed let's be happy let's look good and let's feel good and uh, I feel like you know walk into a room with confidence in what you're wearing and what you look like is is a great start and uh, I say this all the time but you know um, you make a first impression every day and one day it's gonna be uh, somebody you actually want to make a good first impression to um, not to say that every time I get dressed I think about that but when I do go out and I do um, want to go somewhere, uh, you never know who you're going to meet. Uh, it could be your next boss. It could be your next wife. Who knows? So anyway, that's what this channel's for, and this is a good uh, teaching point. So we're going to get into the comment this guy said about this boot and this belt. So the number one rule, and if it's not the number one rule, it's a very important rule about men's fashion um, cowboy fashion and it's not and I don't want to talk about just cowboy fashion on this channel I want to talk about fashion in general and how to look good and how to feel good um, is to match your leathers right you want to match your leathers that's a very important rule that means wallets belts boots watch straps sometimes that's a hard one um, but you if the more you the more you match the leathers that you're wearing, the more accessorized you look. But it doesn't have to match perfectly. And in this case, this boot, um, like I said, is a reverse leather hide. So it's not a slick leather material. Not to say that you couldn't match it. It's just that I wouldn't match it. I wouldn't wear this boot that has a brown outsole with a black belt. It's kind of clashing. Um, and I know that sounds... A little off but this is kind of like a fashion rule right um, with a boot like this with a lighter brown outsole you want to match your leathers you want to match the actual leather with outsole of the boot that way you're bringing out more of the brown that you're going for with an outfit now even if I was gonna wear an all black jean um, black shirt even a black jacket I would still wear a brown belt and not just this right so the thing about these boots is um, they have brown outsoles. They get darker even when they're lighter outsoles. So here's a good example right here. This boot right now looks as fresh and new as a baby's bob. But um, this thing is going to be dirty, dark brown eventually. So still a black boot with a brown bottom. So I'm going to wear a brown belt. A belt that's closer to the color of the outsole in order to bring out the browns in the outfit that I want to wear. So if I was going to wear this shirt, right, um, I would wear, and I really wanted to wear these, these boots, right? So this shirt has black in it, 
what we're going to try and do is bring out the black of the shirt, but still bringing out the brown of the boot. I know this is getting complicated, but we're going to put on, let's say, this belt right here. So, like I said, this boot's going to look a little bit darker in the future, but I would wear this boot with this belt just because when you get these further apart, this is going to look darker when it's on the ground. This is going to look lighter when it's on my waist in contrast with this shirt and a lighter pant that I'm wearing. So I will post a pic of me wearing that exact outfit or some kind of video so you guys can see what I'm talking about and how much better it's going to look than if I did a, um, a black belt with this boot. It's going to clash, I'm telling you. Because now I have too much brown coming out in this shirt because we do have some tans and stuff in here. Um, this not being accented by the actual boot that I'm wearing. So an example of something I would wear a black belt, something I would wear a black belt with is this. So this is a Cayman skin, um, with a black outsole. Um, and under that dye, you're going to, you're going to notice that all boots start to turn brown, right? So later in the future, I might wear a brown belt with this in order to complement the actual brown outsole. But anyway, I would wear this boot, obviously not with some belt that matches. That's not realistic all the time. I don't have to have a black Cayman skin belt, just a black leather belt. I could still wear this shirt and these boots with it. I would still probably wear a lighter jean not to take away from um, the shirt, right? Like I don't want to, I don't want to go black 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 and then i have a lot of um i still have a lot of colors going on in the shirt i still have you know green um some tan i think some purple in the shirt so i still have a lot going on that i kind of want um to be shown in the shirt i mean this is a really cool shirt right um but in order to really make this shirt stand out um i would typically go for a belt like this um, I want to bring out the greens. I want to bring out the natural tones of this shirt, right? It's, this shirt is very earthy. Um, I'm trying to make this simple video because I want to make fashion for men as uh, easy to understand as possible. But a shirt like this with a lot of neutral colors, earthy colors, you know, green, uh, the tan, the purple. I want to make this outfit look as natural, earthy as possible. So I could honestly do this boot. Even though this is like a cream colored boot, I'm not going to wear a cream colored belt. I'm going to match the outsole. It's a chocolate outsole, a brown leather outsole. Brown belt, especially a brown belt like this that has a lot of browns in it, it's going to go with a lot of the things you're going to wear, especially somebody like me who doesn't wear a black boot that often. I wear black boots a lot, but not a black boot with a black outsole, right? So I want a brown belt so I can wear this boot with this belt. I can wear this boot with this belt. This boot with this belt. Any boot with a light brown outsole, a chocolate outsole, dark brown outsole. You get you a belt that has your pecan colored leather, your chocolate colored leather, your light tan colored leather. You're gonna match the majority of boots out there. Like I said, a black boot is usually a special occasion boot. A black boot with a black outsole so for me in this outfit I'm gonna bring out the tans and the greens of this shirt right with this boot and I'm gonna match that boot to this belt just to kind of tie in all the browns and I'll post a video of that outfit with this shirt as well um, and that would look good with the jeans I have on right so I can wear this chocolate colored um, thing and still tie in all the earthy colors that I'm wearing in this outfit. Even with this gray hat, I would rather wear like a, a white hat um, or a tan hat to kind of tie in like the earthy colors. Um, but I'll show you that uh, outfit with this on right here. So the moral of the story is you do not have to match your actual leathers, right? Just because you're wearing a black boot 
doesn't mean you wear a black belt. This will look very tacky. This will look very unorthodox and or unorganized, right? It feels normal, right? Black boot, black belt, right? It, it feels normal, but it's, it's not catching to the eye. It's not appealing to the human eye. It's really not. Um, if you want to look good, you want to be the best dressed looking man in the room, um, learn how to match your, the actual outsole of your boot. Um, this this material right here can come in any color in the world, you name it. They can dye this material any color. I have a lot of friends who have a boot like this in, uh, in red. I just gave Co-Wedsel a pair in a copper color. And so what you would do in that situation is steal right here. This is it every time. Unless you can be in a perfect situation where you have a belt that only matches one boot. This is very um, inconvenient, right? This is not realistic to have a belt that matches every boot that you own. So what am I going to do? If I want to wear this boot with one belt in my entire collection, it's going to be this custom leather belt. JD Leatherworks did it for me. Um, Arrowhead Ranch Leather makes great leather. They made this wallet for me. This wallet, again, we're matching our leathers. This wallet matches this belt. Um, if you want to look accessorized, um, as a man, you want to look appealing, and people really won't know why that you're so eye-catching when you walk into the room, that's how you do it. Match your leathers, but don't match the actual leather on the boot. Unless you can get very specific and have material to match the boot. Some people are going to be able to do it. Most people are not. Um, but again, you would match this boot with like a lighter brown. I'd probably wear this boot with this, with this belt right here. I'm matching the outsoles, right? It has some black in it. It's going to tie it together pretty well. Again, it's going to be really unorthodox, right? It's an unorthodox pairing. We got, we got a white black purple in here we got a lot of white in the boot black in the boot it's gonna be really crazy but you're gonna be unbelievably surprised by how well this is gonna tear to, uh, tie together and actually match so I will um, actually post a video of me wearing this as well I'll have to put on a different shirt something like this is what I would wear with a black outfit and I will show you this will be the perfect example of showing you black on black with brown brown belt brown outsole um, again, the only time, and I'll show you a great outfit of wearing this belt. Um, we have this boot by Dan Post, absolutely beautiful ostrich skin. I'm not going to go get a black ostrich skin belt made. I'm just going to throw on this black belt. It's got these cool silver buckles. I'm just going to throw this on with this. And we're probably going to do like a light blue jean. And we can do any color shirt. We can do a purple shirt. We can do a black shirt. It's going to look great. Um, I don't want to do all black. It's too cliche. You don't want to go black belt, black boots, black shirt, black jacket. It's just a little too cliche. Everybody can do that, right? Everybody can. It's simple. It's, everybody can do that. But there you go. That's my two cents on why I can wear this boot with this belt. And it's going to look better than this any day of the week. You want to really try and match the outsole of your boot. And that is my tip for the day. Um, I really want to make this channel about kind of answering you guys some questions. And I feel like that was not a question, but it was something I could answer that was uh, more of a suggestion, right? Um, when people kind of force their knowledge. I could be right. I could be wrong. But uh, I think it's a very helpful tip. It's going to help you guys look good. And that's the goal, right? Look good, feel good. Please like and subscribe so I can uh, get some more reach and teach um, more people some of this stuff. Uh, help men with uh, more confidence. Thank you guys for watching this video if you watched it all the way through. And y'all keep cowboying on.